some PC build one. We have the NHD15. We have G Skill Memory. An unlocked i7 chip, which you cannot get from Dell. Solid state drive. Video, video. Of course, here, 750, which is an awesome power supply. We have the gaming board and the commander case which was the last one on amazon so we're gonna get this together um we're gonna use some of the parts from his old his build but this is where we're at probably the coolest heat sink i've ever seen it's huge like the fan in there it's probably like an eight inch fan i mean i'm not joking here so we have that and here i'm gonna show you what it looks like Hold on, let me open it That is a pretty big fan. I definitely want one of these. This is the MSI Z170A-G45. Look at that board. This is Ray's build part one. This is the Crosshair CX750M. The thing I like about this case and I wasn't aware of is it has the actual cages kind of like a server setup. And while they're not, it doesn't have a backplane or anything, it is still kind of cool um, because it puts the drives on a plastic uh, sleeve. And this thing holds six drives internally, <clears throat> and then it's got four at the larger bays. Pretty cool. i7-6700K, which is the uh, LGA-1151 um, form factor, and this is it right here. This is the heatsink attached. I want one so bad. There's the little bitty Intel chip. <clears throat> There's the IO shield. The back plate for the CPU. There's the IO shield there. Oh no, I had it there. Maxed out the RAM. Cheat skill RAM, MSI chipset. This thing's gonna be awesome. Thing about this power supply is it has removable headers on it, so you have your 24 pin and your uh, 6 pin uh, main connectors built in, like the conventional. But you have these slots right here that you can actually remove the unneeded ones, and they're not clogging up the inside of the case. That's really cool. back it's gonna be a nice build yeah. graphics card PCI Express GeForce GTX 750 TI I don't know what the TI is but yeah it's definitely a nice um, few gig uh, performance card and then I made a quick wrist strap you just pull the coating off and wrap it and then ground it to the case there and you're good. Okay, it would not let me do that while on the phone, but it's a little cable management. It's up to here. Here's the big heat sink. One thing I don't like about this board is that right there literally pinches on that uh, drive bay right here so I may have to custom cut that or something if it gets in the way but other than that it's looking pretty pretty good so before I put the cover back on this is the back side and this is the cages I kind of like that A cable management I don't like this running over there. I might swing this down like that. Cut right there. And then put one more tie there. That's the finished product.
Just a look at the new UV BIOS. Graphical interface on it. Almost like an operating system. 8888 8, 8. G skill memory, 21, 33 megahertz. This is cool. Watch. Real time fan monitoring. And the RPMs. And it gives you a graph. Kind of like to see this in Fahrenheit though, but eh, can't complain. There's probably a setting in here somewhere to change that. But yeah, there's all kind of game boost. I have no idea what that is. Here's the hardware monitor. That's cool. I mean, the BIOS actually has a favorite. There's the overclocking. Go ahead and put it in raid mode. Wow. I don't see anything for the anything like that whoa <laughs> that is cool there's no operating system loaded this is at the uh, BIOS level right here drag and drop USB first, UFI CD ROM, UFI hard disk, and then regular hard disk, or regular CD first. Wow. Sure. Dun, dun, dun. 